Peter here and this week I've been inspired to talk about spirituality because uh, I was pleased to be able to host a great teacher of mine, Lama Chodak Rinpoche, uh, just last Thursday. And we talked about spirituality and what is a spiritual person. Because there's a lot of religions around the world that are preaching their version of the truth and they say that our version is correct and everyone else is a sinner, etc. But when we talk about religion, there's, there's people that are leaving those religions in droves because the main reason is that a lot of people don't practice what they preach. They talk about being a good person and yet at the same time these institutions are rocked by, for example, cover-ups of all the, the pedophile people and things like that and the terrorism in Islam and Hindu extremists and that sort of thing. So these religions are really being hijacked by particular people within them uh, who you know have their own agendas who want the religion to strive and try to cover up the bad eggs so to speak in the religion well we spoke about what is a real spiritual person and to me it's about people who practice what they preach and try their best to improve themselves and try to develop their own peace kindness compassion and be a better person themselves not the ideology of telling others what they should and shouldn't do. Because if you work on yourself, then you'll become an inspiration to others. Now, I think the real mark of a really spiritual person is that they go on to further develop themselves and find learnings in where, wherever they can. And so if they find those learnings inside the religion, that's great. But if they find it, from any other place, then a real spiritual person would take that and use it. Now, when I studied, uh, I studied a lot of religions, probably Buddhism more than anything else. But once I'd learned to meditate, I went out and kept learning from psychology, from uh, Hinduism and, and other Christianity, philosophies, science, non-science. And whenever I picked up new techniques, which I thought that would work, I used them on myself. And my teachers were great. It's, it's fantastic that you're learning tips and tricks to help yourself and, and also help others at the same time. Now, if a real spiritual person doesn't care where they get their learnings from and that they're equally happy in learning from whatever religion, then why do we have to call, you know, religions in the first place. A real spiritual person shouldn't be constrained by the name of one particular brand of spirituality or religion. They should be able to go out and find it wherever. So it's about process, not ideology. Now, to end this, I want to kind of prove my point because a lot of the religions say, you know, you shouldn't break their rules. But interestingly enough, the founders of the religions were probably the biggest rebels there were. I mean, the Buddha became the Buddha and started that religion because he totally disrespected the, the customs and the traditions of the time and went off and said, I'm going to find my own way. And he sat under the tree for six years and, and came up with his own version. Jesus Christ was the same. He didn't follow the way the Romans taught at that time or whatever. He went out and he found his own truth, his own way to God. And then when he found that, he taught others that would listen. And it's the same with the other uh, traditional, uh, the founders of the other traditions. So my point is, if they break rules and if they are the rebels, then what is the hypocrisy of these religions by telling us that we should follow the rules that they set down and only believe the things that they believe? So that, I think, proves my point that if we are to be truly spiritual, then we should go and find our own techniques and not judge others. Because techniques that work for me may not work for another person and vice versa. So I think fantastic if someone's found a religion that works for them, but go ahead and keep exploring to find other ways 
to practice yourself and make it that your actions speak larger than words and that you, if you are a more peaceful and a more compassionate person, people will recognize that you're a spiritual person, irrespective of what traditional name you call your religion. Okay, good luck. I hope you enjoyed that and all the best. Mm -hmm.